I want to welcome you to this very hours of prayer and I want you to make up your mind that as you pray, your heaven will respond to you. And I want you to join the apostle as he pray alongside with him for this few minutes and I believe that the Lord will hear you and that your heaven will always be open in the name of Jesus. This prayer you are about to enthrone Christ. Are we together now? If you focus only on the message that saves, you will be saved as an individual, but your territory will frustrate your Christian experience. An example was Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot was a righteous man as a person, but he was among a people who were depraved and he could not find expression. So there are two keys to kingdom advance. Number one is evangelism. Number two is influence. Satan has a primary assignment to stop both. But if for any reason he can't do anything about your receiving Jesus, now your personal salvation is a done deal. The next place of attack is your influence. What is influence? Influence is the capacity to cause men to buy into your ideologies without using force or cruelty. Territories can be changed overnight with the power of influence. Cultures are shaped through influence. The Bible says, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men. Can I tell you, most people downplay the power of influence. At every point in your life, someone is influencing you. And you are to bring the influence of the kingdom. Satan will fight influence in any way he can. I want to show you a scripture. Because the gates of influence is about to open for someone. Are we together? In Isaiah chapter 60, when you read from verse 1 to 3, it says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. I would like to quote this many times from Amplified. It says, Arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new light. It says, For your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Listen carefully. Verse 2 says, For darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you, and his glory shall be seen in you. Verse 3, Influence. Gentiles, all nations, shall come, not to you, to your light. And even their arrogant kings, their kings already have results. They won't come to your light. They come to the brightness of your rising. Are we together? The end time church is going to advance the frontiers of the kingdom. Not only through evangelism and discipleship. But it will come through influence. Acts chapter 12. Oh, someone's life is changing. Acts chapter 12 from verse 1. Please do not forget this scripture and this revelation. Now watch this. You know that the disciples of Jesus, I want to show you how Satan fights influence. You know the disciples of Jesus were in different levels. There was the 70 or 72. He had the 12. But there were three people. There were things that they saw the rest did not see and satan marked every one of them he started by beheading james it was peter james and john the threefold cord that cannot be easily, easily broken when he found james and they beheaded him he went straight to paul the bible says they killed james and he saw that it pleased the jews and he went straight to peter during the days of the unleavened bread be patient let's read the bible says when he had apprehended peter he put him in where prison what was he fighting he put him in prison you would think that would be enough but then he brought four quaternions of soldiers to still keep him in prison 
it was not just confinement he wanted four eight soldiers again covered him intending after easter to bring him forth before the people verse 5 the bible says peter therefore was kept in prison please help me finish the remaining part of that sentence but prayer was made this was what was not done for james unfortunately there is no record that they stood in for james and james died but when peter was there the church said no way there is something we can do please keep it there we're still reading the bible says prayers was made without season of the church unto god for him the result verse 6 the bible says and when herod would have brought him forth the same night peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains Abba, you lock a man in prison tie him with chains and put eight soldiers that's not a fight for liberty is influence and the bible says that the keepers were there before the door who kept the prison verse 7 and behold the angel of the lord came in response to prayer listen and a light shined in that prison and he smote peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell from his hands verse 8 the bible says the angel said guard yourself and bind on thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me verse 9 and when he went out listen carefully he followed him and wished not that which was true which was done by the angel but he thought he saw a vision now verse 10 the bible says he held peter the angel and they passed the first and second ward or gate watch this now they passed the first gate he was no longer in prison but he was still confined they passed the second gate far from the prison but still no liberty and the bible says and they came to the iron gate which leaded to where so there is a gate that leads to the city every man's city is his place of influence did the bible not say you are listen there is a gate that leads to the city when that gate opens the city must see you for who you are and now begin to place a demand the iron gate that leads to the city businessmen hear me you can be in a city and yet spiritually you are not there because there are gates that must open i understand what i'm telling you listen in zaria one time there are few only few people here that really understand you know that may know zaria the lord asked me to trek from a place quite far in town and to trek down to a place called aviation and i was trekking and just speaking over that territory because there are spirits that reside over that place i know what it means for the tulip gates of a city to be opened can i tell you you can be doing i've seen many gifted people sir anointed and sincere but the gates that leads to the city has not been opened i've seen business people who cannot understand preachers sincere love god anointed but the two leaf gates in ancient times you would never come into a city until the gate is open is that true every city spiritually has gates just because you move there physically does not mean the gate is open there is a protocol to influence now watch this 
the first gate opened the second gate opened and the bible says this very gate was called the iron gate and my bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder when jesus prophetically in psalm 24 was returning back to the land of the living there was a cry lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted ancient doors hold on those doors have been there for a long time they are used to closing over people and the gates replied who is this king of glory can i tell you this listen for a few of you who may have seen the posters that and i'm saying this respectfully of my coming into the city when i was praying that map of abuja or something there's one I, I i don't i still don't know the names of your cities you won't believe it cities is the city gates there's one map there like that that was what i saw in my vision that was why i told them to put it in the you know the the billboard or whatever it is because you see let me tell you sincerely spiritually speaking gates have seen Sit, um, um, cities have gates you want to understand this properly go to the north you won't get it very well around the south you go to the north you see the entrance of every major place you see that now the gates do not have anything closing them but you enter and believe you are in you, the city will show you you are not invited There are many business people in Abuja. You see, the Bible says they know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Psalms 82 and now verse 5. Verse 6 says, I have said, ye are gods and all of you are children of the Most High. The tragedy is verse 7. It says, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes. It takes high level spiritual illumination to be able to command authority even in prayer. The foundation for effective prayer is access to the mysteries of the kingdom so that you pray in keeping with the will of God. You can know your prayer will be answered. Your intelligence is consistent with scripture. You are not praying amiss. The iron gate that opens to the city can I tell you this? Some of you here are business people. Some of you here have schools you're running. Some of you here might be other ministers who came that there is a gate that has to open. But when that gate opens, you will marvel and wonder. The Bible says Gideon blew a trumpet and 33,000 people you would think he did, he did not know where they were hiding. He just, there was a shofar. Can I tell you, there is an anointing called a hear ye him anointing. People don't just listen to you because you have something to say. It takes more than that. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Creation was given an instruction. Hear ye him. When that grace comes on your business right from where you are when it comes upon the works of your hands i'm saying this because we're about to pray that that gate in the name of jesus christ must be opened hither and thither because the king of glory wants to make a triumphant entry are you ready to pray lift your voice and decree and declare this a fata be open gates a fata hita and tita be open gates be open Open. 
the iron gate be broken be opened gates of influence the gates that lead to the city be opened be opened the king of glory desires to come in be opened Jesus name let me pray for you now you have done the praying second Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be From the rising of the sun to the setting of the I want you to be very sensitive now. You are afraid. Let me pray for you. 2 Corinthians 9 and verse 8. Hallelujah. Ordinarily, I would have told you this maybe privately in the office, but the Lord is asking me to say it in the open. I just saw a vision and I saw you and your wife, and I saw it was like two ships, and you were walking and you had gotten to the end of one ship, and I saw a hand stretched and it held you to another ship and it began to move. I believe, I know this answer, I believe that another phase of ministry you share what I'm saying go and write it down in addition to what you are currently doing another strange apostolic and, dim and prophetic dimension of ministry is opening because this instruction to pray for a long time there are many things that God has not said yet that by by the end of it he will tell why he called for a fast like this oh, oh, oh. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. this is how it works in this kingdom that we understand the systems of the kingdom and we engage them through knowledge and change not a few people command complete transformation complete transformation hallelujah let's pray father say it again father in the name of jesus tonight I declare that I'm tired of my current level. I'm tired of where I am. 
I'm tired of where my family has been kept. Tonight, by your anointing, lift me to a new dimension. Open your mouth and begin to pray. New dimension in ministry. New dimension spiritually. New dimension in finances. Pray. Oh, Lift your voice and pray. the yoke of begging as a generation that yoke shall be taken from up your shoulder Check. he said and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every cause every, every, every yoke every spell Every enchantment, Every enchantment over my life, over my, life, over my, family, over my family, I declare, I declare that, by the that by the anointing it is broken forever. Broken. Lift your voice and pray. Pray. Oh, you're breaking. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, by the authority in the finished work of Christ, I declare to principalities, to powers, to familiar spirits that tonight I have been called out of every tribe every covenant every enchantment the sins of my fathers 
will no longer work in my life. I exempt myself. Lift your voice and pray. Every covenant, every enchantment, please pray, pray. Hallelujah. We are praying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every veil. Every veil that has covered my glory. That has covered my glory. Every veil. Every veil that has hijacked my honor. That has hijacked my In the honor. name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. I tear that veil to pieces. Lift your voice and pray. Pray. Cover yes. your glory. The says arise. Shine. Arise, shine, Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak. I speak to every area of my life. To every area of my life. My spiritual life. My spiritual life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My body. My body. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My finances. My finances. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Family life. Family life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My career. My career. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. By the anointing. By the anointing. Rise to destiny. Rise. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every aspect of my life, rise to your place in destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. Ay, ay, ay. There's fire burning in this place. Listen. The Bible says, listen carefully. It says Saul, the son of Kish. Kish lost his donkey. It left him. It was his means of livelihood. And it left. As soon as they encountered a man with an anointing, the donkey started going back home. Are you ready to call back things that have left you? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every relationship. Every relationship. Every opportunity. Every opportunity. Every unction. Every unction. Every access, every access that left my life, that left my life by the anointing, by the anointing, I call you back. I call you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Business opportunities, educational opportunities. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. 
In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, favor, favor, you are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. I open up my life. I open up my life to your influence. To your influence. Lift your voice and pray. Favor. Favor is not just a thing. Favor is a spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to be guiding on how this oil will be distributed and I'll give us instructions. But in the next two minutes, please, the specific issues that must live your life now, not tomorrow. Listen, now. If you don't have faith for it now, pray on something else. Are we together now? There are things in the Bible that say as they went. But there are things that the Bible say immediately. Listen, release your faith. I'm not a fool. Release your faith. Don't just sit down and say, can God make a wilderness overnight? Abba, we are talking of God here. If it's time for you to get pregnant as a wife, don't just look and say, I've not met with my husband. No, you get pregnant at the instance of the word of God. You are sick in your body. There is a load of challenge on you. There are demons oppressing you. There's all kinds of fire on your mountain. It's time for you to have a testimony. Open your mouth in one minute and tell the Lord the things that must live your life. Every one of them. Every one of them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. Please listen. This is this is the crescendo of this seven days prayer. Many of you, what God is about to do in your life now, it will surprise you, ba? truly speaking, in a way that will make you respect God in a fresh dimension. Hallelujah. Hmm. Now, there are so many people, and this is what will happen. Um, I'm going to appoint a few people now. In this auditorium, there may be just three of them. And then, overflow one overflow two overflow three everything from the the last place of the fence of cgc right there is overflow four and then those standing at the back of overflow three just at the back of overflow three that's overflow five are we together now so this is the main auditorium so you understand what i'm saying overflow one all the people here overflow two right from wherever till the end of cgc fence overflow three is the main um the 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 space outside there overflow four is everything from the end of cgc's fence to wherever people are now and then overflow five are those who are standing across the corner right to the other street there that's that's the overflow this is what we are going to do please make sure that this oil comes upon you even if you have a child even if the child is sleeping just touch the child you don't have to fetch the oil and try to idolize it it's not about idolatry just a touch you can take one if you like put on your head and did you bring all those documents 
we are going to pray just, just leave them don't worry leave them there we are going to deal with them please be patient with me and let god surprise you tonight are we together now except it is not god that has instituted what we are doing some of you you will not even be able to share the testimonies you will watch it will be, people will ask you which charm did you hold what happened to you there are some of you in ministry that will go back after tonight you will you will stand like this and say so this is how god works this thing is not trial and error god is a god of systems are we together now so i want you to agree with me as we pray please no distraction forget about this is not husband and wife now this is you standing between you and god this is not neighbor we came brothers and sisters leave anyone you came with this is your destiny with god now is not the time to laugh and pinch around like the devil who want to cheat many people now it's at this time where he told elijah if you can see he was looking but he said if you can see there are some of you as this oil comes upon you all of a sudden your eyes will be open and you will see strange supernatural things so be sensitive hallelujah be sensitive um what will happen is there are five five so we can do three three that means three bowls here we'll fill it with the oil we'll keep adding and then three outside please protocol work so that we can arrange it please i know that there are lots of people the protocol people are smart enough they have been trained everybody will receive of the oil especially for overflow four and five please our securities please help us so that we don't have any chaos everybody just be patient the oil will get to you don't just try to hold it and try to turn it in a jar all alone be patient be patient if you have a bottle of oil after service i can pray for you on it but for now just cooperate please let's not make the place rowdy and let there be no fighting just cooperate with any official you see within your area and in a few minutes will be done while all of that is happening the worship team will be leading us and then we are going to pray in the name of jesus christ we lift up this jar this is ordinary oil you have led me to pray over it but father i pray by the anointing of the holy spirit we are not acting you are real lord prove your power in an unusual dimension tonight in the name of jesus lord i pray for every single person upon whom this oil will come those who are online you can get any bottle of oil or anything around you and connect by faith as i'm praying is reaching you there lord we call this the oil of strange results we call this the oil of wonder we call it the oil of favor we call it the oil of influence we call it the oil of increase and expansion we call it the oil of revival let prayer lives jack back to life let the gifts of the spirit be activated let mantles come upon your people in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy spirit father strange dimensions in the name of jesus strange dimensions strange fire strange dimensions strange dimensions in the name of jesus be the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker the first partaker in the name of jesus the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus please come and hold this be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ be the first help him please the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus now pastor jimmy will be here he'll be standing here victor um the protocol please coordinate it it's going to be very fast um just bring the jars turn them now turn them turn them quickly let's just fill them and then we'll go to the respective places please let's be in an attitude of prayer what you're going to do is just follow as they direct you once they receive it they'll go down there someone hold the jars i believe there's still some more you just touch it on your head don't touch it on any document don't worry we are coming there you return back to your seat you are blasting in tongues and prophesying everything that must appear in your life are we together now thank you lord jesus lord we pray that let there be miracles right now 
in the name of Jesus. So some of you will be watching them so that the ones that are almost finished. As you can hold one, you can stand here. Whoever is standing with me, Aaron, please the rest, speak it to your various places. Father, we anoint this oil. And in the name of Jesus, as it comes upon people, let there be strange results. From the main auditorium here, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, overflow four, overflow five. Change the stories of people. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. God bless you. Go ahead. Quickly. Quickly, please. We cry holy, holy, holy. Come to Yeshua. Shekinah here. We cry holy, holy, holy. Come to Yeshua. Shekinah is We cry holy.
to Sagabaraka to Sogo Pradeganaba. Keep praying. Don't stop. Keep praying. Shaka Parakoto Sutabala. I'm moving forward. Strangely manifesting the glory of God. Defying all the laws of men. Defying the expectations of men. Rising by the Spirit. Rising by the anointing. Rising by the Spirit. Abarakata Barakato Sotobosh. Don't be tired of praying. Something is happening to you. Something is happening to you. Prophesy over your finances. Prophesy over your health. The word of the Lord is upon you. The word of the Lord is upon you. No devil can stand this impartation. The word of the Lord is upon you. No curse. No spell. No divination. No enchantment. We are breaking out at last. By the spirit of the living God. The word of the Lord is upon you. Sent. Sent by his anointing. Keep praying. Don't be tired. You are doing something to your spirit man. The hand of God is upon you. Things are shifting in the spirit. Doors are opening. Ladders have been created. Preaching your expectation and your results. Outside pray. Those online. Use the oil you have upon your head. And that of your family members. And begin to pray in the spirit. Call for the things that be not. Don't doubt what you are doing. This is how it works. Don't doubt what you are doing. Don't let the devil plant unbelief and make you think you are wasting your time. No, you are not. The Lord will so surprise you. Something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I met. Hallelujah. Hold on. I know that there are still, especially for those of us in the overflows, we are still making contact with the oil. Don't stop. Just continue what you are doing. But please listen to me. Please listen to me. Hallelujah. I want you to pick up any point of contact that you came with. There is a strong anointing that I sense upon me now. any point of contact your document certificate whatever it is job sack letter court case letter whatever it is he said be anxious for nothing but in everything 
by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known let your request i want to pray for you listen let me tell you this i have learned by the spirit if you don't have any point of contact you can use your hand your hand is the symbol of your work your hand is the symbol of your productivity i have learned that everything on earth can hear it just depends on who is speaking are we together god has not called you i know for many of us this thing looks like is some form of for many of us this looks like it is some form of nonsense others will watch and laugh and you there at your house or wherever it is you are connecting with us from around the world it's not too late if there is nothing write your challenge and lift it before god and say lord this thing is not giving me joy your certificate whatever it is there's more oil here if there's anyone in need of it Please make sure you participate. All the overflows. I want to pray. I want you to believe. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, please just believe this once. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God. So shall he be established. He said, believe in his prophets. This thing you see is not a vocation. It's not something a man chose for himself. I want to pray for you from the depth of my spirit. I want to put an anointing upon those items i don't care what it is some of you are lifting your jam sleep for your jam tomorrow some of you are lifting your certificate you've been a graduate for 10 years 20 years no job some no promotion some is a threat letter by anything a court or whatever it is i want to pray for you i just need you to believe to agree with me some of you is your business ideas some is your crashing business some whatever it is now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the one who gave this anointing i decree i speak over every document and every point of contact represented in the name of jesus i command speed upon that document in the name of jesus christ for every document lifted that is a threat a challenge to a family to an individual to your reputation in the name of jesus i veto that situation now i veto that situation now every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate you are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show for from tonight in the name of jesus i give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit I command it to bring jobs to you. I command it to bring opportunities to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For some of you, that which you are lifting is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family. In the name of Jesus may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament out of every predicament for some of you what you are lifting is a medical report it's a threat letter from hell that you have cancer that you have hiv that you are barren your tubes are blocked that you are important as a man in the name of jesus i change that medical report now i change that medical report now
there are some of you what you are lifting is your project not just your school project job project whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon in the name of jesus i command all those who will supervise you to favor you there are some of you what you are lifting is your house rent what you are lifting is a building project that is not completed and there is no hope of raising money anywhere i decree and declare by the finger of god i call forth helpers to your life now i call forth helpers to your life now for some of you what you are lifting is your marriage certificate that your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces because of what the devil wants to do in the name of jesus i mend that home right now i mend that home right now for some of you what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body they say you don't have this you don't have that this is absent in your body whatever should be in your body and is not in the name of jesus i call for a replacement now for some of you what you are lifting is your atm card your checkbook or your phone as a sign in the name of jesus i declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the lord god of heaven let it surprise you let it surprise you let it surprise you I pray for every ministry represented here whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels that souls will not be saved through your ministry that lives will not be changed in the name of Jesus I release an anointing upon you now I release an anointing upon you now go and do exploits in the name of Jesus anyone in business here i prophesy to you i don't care what your business has looked like between now and the next two months may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you i say it again between now 60 days from today in the name of jesus enter a strange dimension of results hallelujah i'm praying for people here who are trusting god to give them properties if you have the faith for this prayer watch my god surprise you i decree and declare that between now and half of the year you may not even have up to one thousand naira in your account now but in the name of jesus i put properties in your hands i put properties in your hands let them mock you and see what god can do i put properties in your hands i pray for every student here if there is any result that is not your own that you are carrying something you know i don't care whether it's a mistake that was made in 100 level and now you are even spilling over help them please help them in the name of jesus by the ministry of angels i command a strange change of results a strange change of results a change of results a change of results hear me i want to pray for those who are not doing well you have done your best it's as if there is an embargo on your mind you are not lazy you study you enter the exam hall and everything evaporates when you fail you now remember take note something will happen to you now i decree and declare let an anointing right now i'm feeling it on my own head a strange anointing receive a grace for supernatural intelligence 
everywhere main auditorium overflow one two three i empower your mind ten times better ten times better i pray for our dear ones i hear the exam from tomorrow am i right from tomorrow till when from today or oh, the road jam today let's agree i'm sure you know what god does with jam in this ministry i know you have read but you need a prophetic backing let's make this thing work once and for all in the name of jesus i pray for you in a way you have never seen may the holy ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam may the holy ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam I'm praying for you. Any mortal man on earth who beats his chest and say over his dead body for you and your family to rise. I stand here and I answer his prayer. Anyone who said over his dead body for you to marry, over his dead body for you to rise, may that prayer be answered now. May that prayer be answered now every devil every wizard every necromancer that manipulates the elements of life and declare that they will victimize you i command the earth to open and swallow them listen just follow me a few minutes and we're done if there is any of you that your name has been taken to any shrine i don't care where and all kinds of incantations some of us come from very wicked families in the name of jesus not only will your name come out of there both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender May the earth open and swallow them. Both the herbalist and the center. May the earth open and swallow them. I know you.